Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zug and today we're talking more Dark Tide and uh, Psychopenances as there seems to be very little information out there on how to actually do them so I thought I'd go through them and tell you how I did them. So let's have a look. Class, Psychonetic. So I've done all of them but Pick and Mix because Pick and Mix is being an absolute arsehole of me at the moment but I'll talk through how to do each and every one of them. So, Cliffhanger is quite an annoying one, but there is a map which makes it a lot easier. A lot of people will say do it on... Uh, it's not even up at the moment. A lot of people will say do it on Chasm Terminus. That I could never do it on there. I did it on Vigil Station. So right at the end, you're in the control room with two bridges and they will storm up those bridges like crazy so that's where I managed to do it and I managed to get a, a, a few other psychers through doing it at that stage as well so vigil station in the last bit just force push them off the bridge it's way easier than doing it in chasm terminus all right the next penance Do, 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 do. Going out with a bang. While on Malice Threat or Higher, kill three elite enemies with a single Perils of the Warp Explosion. This one does require a little bit more luck. But with the new um, trooper like affects. So what you want to find is a high intensity map. So high intensity, the little arrow it points up. Or high intensity shock trooper gauntlet. And you want to do this on, and so I think it's Malice, but you can do it higher. Malice threat or higher, yeah. So I'd say do it on Malice or Heresy. And literally, you see, it, you just have to wait for a big horde or a group of shotgunners to turn up. Get yourself charged up and just, boom. It, it will take some luck. And some timing especially if you're not playing with uh, friends if you're doing it in pugs it can be a little bit more annoying and they might get annoyed at you because obviously most of these pens make you actively play against the mission so yeah it's not great but that's how i did my one all right next one bang out of bang warp battery while on malice throw a high in a single session maintain maximum warp charges for 300 seconds this is just going to be trial and error. Literally, all you'll be doing on one mission is brain bursting and just keeping those stacks rolling. Doesn't matter what mission you're on, preferably a mission with no sort of intermissions where everything goes quiet because that's what will get you. So, possibly not the assassination missions because they have the small breaks in the weather for you. But basically, a straight through mission. See if I can see one I can think of. Um, strike missions are quite good for it because there's no real breaks. There's just constant waves. You can do it at the Magistrata because there aren't that many breaks in it. But I would not do it on Chasm Station because at the end of the Crucible kind of thing where you're typing in the information there's just a break and that can screw you okay next one not even close kill a pouncing pox hound with brain burst again this one is just pure luck probably do it i don't know if the new pox hounds the affects count i'm not sure if they do brilliant then you've got it done easily if not it's just luck and waiting for a pox hound. I mean, there's not much skill to this at all. It is literally waiting for the pox hound and just try and get it while it's jumping. Okay, next one. While on heresy throw a high, kill a monstrosity after damaging 90% of its health with your brain burst. This is one of the most irritating ones to do, other than pick and mix. And if you don't have a group of friends that play, there's only one way for you to do this and it is well there are two ways to do it 
you can go on the Darktide Discords or the Darktide Reddit and actually ask for help and try and get some people together to specifically do it for you. But, you know, I can't guarantee how well that'll work. Or you join missions on Heresy or Damnation and you literally just ask the group if it's okay with them with you doing it. I got very lucky and it only took me three or four groups to get it done. The last group that did it were absolutely lovely guys. So big shout out to uh, Tiny and the rest of them. You guys are awesome. And we even managed to get the sharpshooter his uh, black chest as well on that mission, which was 100% um, ac accuracy. But yeah, so basically you, you'll have... You can do it with any monstrosity. Easiest way is to have an Ogryn with a slab shield tank a demon host for you while the other two members of the party run interference and stop any specials getting in to, you know, hamper you. So the Ogryn would tank the demon host with his slab shield. He would have his special up and he would just stand there. And you will just brain burst continuously. Just brain burst, brain burst, brain burst. Or the next easiest thing to do, I actually got mine in, uh, in the Magistrata. So the in the 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 sewer way before you get to the main level, uh, Plague Ogryn spawned. So all he had, he only had that sewer to walk up and down in. We basically just stood in there and brain burst him. The other two guys were doing a great job at keeping the specials away at either end because we had two sharpshooters with us. The Ogryn tanked it for me, and I brain burst it. Uh, this, unless you have friends that are willing to sit there and do it with you, this one will take the longest. Okay, and the last penance, pick and mix, which I'm still yet to do because it's it's an absolute fucker. Again, if you're with other people, it makes it a lot more difficult. And also, if you have sharpshooters, unless the sharpshooter is specifically helping you, they are the ones that will ruin it for you because they will instantly blow away any specials. But, you know, it's their job to do it. So, pick and mix. I've got I've got some stuff written down for this. Uh, complex 154-2F mission. It has an area where you have to complete an interrogation. Five shotgunners and gunners always spawn there. From the room just to your right. And they jump down onto the interrogation access way. In consecutive ways. So, once they spawn, you stand at the back there and just pop them they also do that on hab zone hl or the torrent basically they do that as well so right at the end of the uh, interrogation before you guys run through the exit door on either side three or four shotgunners will drop down from each side if you are quick enough you can brain burst them down almost instantly but again it's trial and error, and I would strongly suggest doing this on a high-intensity shock trooper gauntlet because they're just they're just more of everything for you to pick from. Yeah, so that's generally how to try and do all of the penances, guys. They are all very irritating, and it may take a couple of tries, but I hope this has helped because the, I've I fucking wish somebody had done a video like this for me because. It's taken me weeks of digging around on the internet and Reddit to find tidbits of information on how to do this. And just to find like nice groups that are willing to take 10 minutes out of their run to help you. Yeah, good luck to you all. I hope you can get these done soon because it's been irritating me for months. And uh, if you have got them done, let me know in the in the comments below. You know. I'll, or happily hear any success stories or, or failure stories or if you have some more information on other penances that might work a bit better so again i hope this helps guys so until next time thanks very much for watching and if you've liked it please like subscribe hit the little bell for notifications it really does help us out and i shall catch you all for the next one so until then catch you later folks